Hi everyone, my name is Patrick, the product manager of SkySave Load Generator. In this video, I'll be showing you a demo of how to use the SkySave Load Generator in generating seismic loads using ALCE 716 for solar panels and also for rooftop equipment. Recently, we've released the seismic load calculation for the rooftop solar panel, which uses the chapter 13 or the seismic design requirements for non-structural components of ASCE 716. So on the seismic load parameters, you just need to put the component importance factor, component amplification factor, component response modification factor, and the component seismic weight. So everything here is, uh, you, you need to define. So the default value will be set to a the most conservative value. So for example, in importance factor, it's set to 1.5. Amplification factor is set to 2.5. Response modification factor is set to 1.5. And then you need to put the seismic weight. So this one, it will generate the base shear or the force that will be applied on the rooftop solar panel itself. Usually, this seismic load uh, doesn't govern compared with the wind uh, wind load applied. So, uh, it, it may not govern on your design, but definitely it's good to know uh, the value for this so that you can compare uh, and you can justify that wind load uh, governs. Moreover, for ground mounted solar panel, uh, this uh, this calculation uses chapter 15 or the seismic design requirements for non-building structures. So the seismic parameters needed uh, are much simplified or lesser compared to the rooftop solar panel, which is the fundamental period of the structure the response modification factor and the seismic weight so these values uh, for the response modification factor uh, you need to go to the table 15.4-1 and 15.4-2 by default its uh, value is 1.5 and also uh, on the fundamental period, you can use the SkySave SVD to calculate the uh, period, the fundamental period of the structure. So you can apply or you can model the solar panel and then do some dynamic frequency uh, analysis. And then you can determine the period of the structure. Or you can just do some approximate uh, approximation so that uh, it it, this is needed in getting the seismic parameters in the calculation. So using the SkySave load generator, all you need to do is select AC716. Uh, and then we go to site data. Let's say the structure is risk category 2. And then I'll select stiff soil. Let's say this structure is located in Dallas, Texas. So th these are the seis seismic parameters from USGS. Confirm site data, then select a solar panel. So on this one, we select first ground mounted solar panel. Let's say this, the panel is 8 feet by 4 feet. Or maybe, yeah, maybe 8 by 8. Let's say 8 by 8. The mounting height is 6 feet. Tilt angle is maybe 25 degrees. Let's see the render. And then confirm site data. So since we won't be solving for wind load, we need we just uh, uncheck the wind load. Then just check the seismic load. So for this one, 
uh, arbitrarily I'll just put some value here. Maybe the period is 0 0.5 second. The seismic weight, uh, maybe it weighs around 100 kilonewtons or 100 kilo kips. And the response modification factor. So this one, I'll just leave it as is. But definitely, uh, the, re the response modification factor here is set to small the smallest value. So it will give you a conservative value. Uh, but definitely, you should uh, adjust it depending on your structure. So once I... Um, okay, I confirm seismic parameters and then click calculate loads. And then here we we can get the seismic base here, which is the 6.867. You can also sell, see the design response spectrum if you want to use this one. So definitely uh, this 6.867 keeps is lesser if you use the wind load or if you apply the wind load definitely this is smaller compared to the one that we have but you can have a look on that so you you generate the wind load and then compare it uh, with this uh, value on the other hand we generate seismic load to using uh, AC716 for rooftop solar panels. So let's say I'll just put the location again. Click OK, structure, solar panel. So here I'll select rooftop solar panels. So let's say the length, solar panel length is 8. And then solar panel width is 8. Tilt angle here is the omega, which is the angle between the surface, the roof surface, and the solar panel itself. So I'll just put 0, uh, which is parallel to the roof. And then the roof profile, let's say it's mono pitch. The building length, 24 feet. Building width, 33. 25, uh, maybe 12. Yeah, so these are arbitrary uh, values, so it depends on your structure. Once OK, I'll just click Confirm Structure Data. Again, I'll uncheck the wind load and check the seismic load. So by default, there are already values on the input, uh, except for the seismic weight so for example the seismic weight is let's say we'll use 100 actually this one is a bit uh, large but yeah so we could just uh, check that one and then i'll leave this as is but definitely you need to refer to the sections here uh, and also the table for better values or so that you can adjust the values according to your structure. Then confirm seismic parameters. Then once OK, I'll click the calculate loads. Uh, once the results come back, so you can see the forces calculated. So here you can see that there are, or there's a horizontal seismic force and a vertical seismic force. So you need to apply this one depending on your structure but uh, this one uh, is applied for determining some overturning and also this is the response spectrum when you click the detailed calculation uh, it's just calculated as rooftop equipment same with rooftop equipment which is uh, the design loads for non-structural component. So this one. So that's how you generate seismic loads 
for rooftop solar panel and the ground solar panel. Similarly, uh, on the rooftop structure or equipment, you can just uh, define the building. Let's say it's 24 feet by 24 feet by 17 feet, I uh, mean roof height. Then check seismic loads. Uh, same component, uh, same data, same input parameters. So you just need to maybe that the uh, equipment is weighing around 40 kips. And then confirm seismic parameters. And then click calculate loads. Same with the rooftop uh, solar panel. It will generate the horizontal and seismic uh, horizontal seismic force and the vertical seismic force and that's how you generate seismic load for rooftop equipment